Hey everyone, this is Nicole. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you've been here before, I appreciate you coming back. If you are new and are joining me for this video, I really do appreciate it and would love for you to um, follow me on my fluid art journey. So if you want to hit that subscribe button, like, and um, throw me a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think about my video today. So um, stay tuned to the next video or not in the next video, stay tuned to the end for close-ups and photos. So today's pour is um, on a 12 by 16. I'm gonna be doing an open cup pour. I'm starting a galaxy series, so this is gonna be the first of my galaxy series. I have not done this before, so I'm pretty excited about how it's going to turn out. And my plans are to use a different pouring technique for each uh, piece in my galaxy series. I've already flooded the canvas with the base coat of Mars Black. And let me go ahead and pop the bubbles here. Fortunately, there are a lot of bubble, bubbles because I just, I just mixed this paint, which I try not to mix it right before I pour because there's so many bubbles. So um, I just torched it and I'm just, I'm kind of going through in case I see any little, um, anything I need to remove from the paint. Anyways, um, got the base down and I used a squeeze bottle and I went around all the sides to make sure all the sides were covered. So I'll show you the paints that I'm using today. So of course the base is, it's a uh, black, Mars black. Then I'm gonna be using this Green Apple by Modern Masters. If you could see that. It's not that great, but maybe we're here. And then this is ice blue. Very pretty color. Very pretty. It's by um, Deco Art. It's their Dazzling Metallics series. This here is another Modern Masters. It's an oyster color. Essentially, basically white. <laughs> and then this is Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. I did add some um, Artist Loft iridescent medium to this violet color. Okay, so what we'll do, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start here. Definitely enough. Definitely, definitely enough. Let's get some of these air bubbles. Oh, it looks really cool on camera, doesn't it? Get some of these air bubbles popped. This could be a big mistake. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it makes it look a little bit more galactic. some negative space and I really like this effect right here so I'm gonna try to see what I can do to keep keep some of that but there is a lot of paint so I'm definitely gonna have to let some go
cool, actually. Look at all the... They're not pointing at anything right now. Paint all over. This is pretty neat. How's it look in the camera? It looks pretty cool. There's a lot of um, like lacing and a lot of cells. I'm going to torch. Let's see. cool. All right. I'm going to leave it. I think I like it. Let me know what you think. I am interested to hear your thoughts, honestly. Um, yeah, I can't wait till it dries. I hope it dries well. I didn't leave um, a lot of paint. So hopefully it will cooperate and dry pretty well because it's cool. I like it. So what I'm going to do, um, like I'm done, I'm just checking these corners here. I did this is the corner I touched. I want to make sure that my sides are covered and they are. These stands are awesome. I know I say that every video, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I really like using them. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to make sure that all the sides are covered. Nothing is left a mess. So, um, whoops, super happy how this turned out, so I will do more for my Galaxy series. Fun, fun. Give it one more tilt to make sure everything is centered back. I did make sure that my canvas was level before I started. Made some adjustments um, on this side here with some popsicle sticks because it wasn't quite as level on this side. Really like this. It's really cool. It makes me think of like layers or something of a planet or I don't know. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go ahead and um, bring you down. Oh, one thing too is always a good idea is to um, use a popsicle stick or whatever it is that you like to use and scrape the bottom edges for any drips. This will prevent you losing your composition 
I mean, you might lose a little bit because as it dries, it's, it's definitely gonna shift. But do this and come back in about 15 or 20 minutes. Do it again until you have, um, until you have no more issues with having the drips coming down. Excuse my arm. Okay, so that's all taken care of as well. All right, so I'll bring you down for a close up. I appreciate you and I thank you for joining me. If you'd like to hang out with me again, please subscribe, hit that like button and notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Till next time. Thank you. Bye. Look at that shimmer. Woo. Check it out. So pretty. I love how these are speckles. Some of the speckles in there is really long. Look at that lacing. Look at there's...